This afternoon, we got a press request. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna be going on this morning, which is the UK's biggest breakfast show at 10 a.m. 2024, you guys, it's just a vibe. I don't, do not know what is happening. I'm now at our client's Candid Studios, self-portrait studio. So I'm here to take some headshots. It is the 31st of January. Just checking out some last minute tax returns. Hello everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome, if you're new here. I do not normally start YouTube videos in my pajamas, but it is 10 p.m. It is already past my bedtime. I've got a very early start tomorrow and I wanted to kickstart this vlog before we get into tomorrow because tomorrow is going to be crazy. So I had a lovely come to a client with me video planned for tomorrow. Little day in the life, come to a client. What is it like to do high level strategy? But the universe had other plans. We are still doing that and I am still gonna take you. But this afternoon, it was actually an email, I don't know why I did that. This afternoon we got a press request. So I do a lot of work with the British press. We normally get two or three press requests a week. Some of it is online publications, some of it is written in the newspapers, and some of it is TV appearances and radio appearances. And we got a TV appearance request, and so tomorrow morning I'm going to be going on this morning, which is the UK's biggest breakfast show at 10am, just in case people are interested, because that was my first question so I could tell my mum. The presenters tomorrow are Rylan and Rochelle, so I am excited to meet them. Um, I have done live TV before but have never done a show as big as this morning. I've done like talk TV, done Jeremy Kyle on talk TV news, but have never done a show like this morning so very 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 excited. So getting picked up by a car very early tomorrow morning to be taken to the studio to then go through lots of the work. So I did lots of preparing and lots of prep work with like researchers and producers tonight to just get all of the talking points ready for tomorrow and then we'll be going on tomorrow. So we're going on at 10, getting picked up at quarter past seven. We'll head into London, into the studio, do hair, makeup, final prep, final tech check, and then we'll be live on the UK's biggest breakfast show tomorrow. And I'm talking all things self-assessment, which if you are not new here, you will know my mission. What is inside my heart is just lowering the barriers to entry to financial education and improving people's financial well-being. And so I'm just so excited for the opportunity to get this into more and more and more mainstream media. So it's going to be a crazy day in the life. I can't even call these videos a day in the life of an accountant anymore because I don't even know what I am. <laughs> like, I feel like if this is called the a day in the life of an accountant, you'd expect someone working in a corporate office to just be like tappy tapping on a computer. Whereas I'm like running around in pink suits like Barbie and I have, it is wild. So I just wanted to record a very quick introduction before I go to bed, get up early tomorrow. Have no idea how much I'll be able to bring you behind the scenes. Have no idea what we'll be able to do. And so wanted to give a proper introduction and also capture the energy. I feel like it would be really easy to just be like, oh, I'll see what I can film and I'll just film an intro later. But I've wanted to like capture the energy because we literally got the press request this afternoon. Like it's live TV, it's very last minute. I never post on socials before I'm doing anything live because it could get pulled at the last minute. Had something very, very recently where we were going on to talk about taxes and then 10 minutes before there was literally a news emergency and so it got pulled from the schedule. And so I never talk about this stuff before it happens, but actually the joy of YouTube content is I can and then can post it when it does happen. So it's very, very, very exciting. So yeah, I'm go going on this morning tomorrow, which is just, 2024, you guys, is just a vibe. I don't, do not know what is happening, but the vision board stuff is just absolutely, <laughs> absolutely flying. And I'm just so excited to like, that I get to share it all with you. Uh, like long form, deep dive, intimate YouTube content is just my favorite type of content to create. And so to bring you behind the scenes, very exciting. Sorry, I just had a little moment, yeah. Doing uh, shows like this morning is just, it has been a dream for a very long time to just get people talking, um, huge career milestone. Yeah, I don't know what it is at the moment. I just feel like the vision board stuff. It's been head down and I've worked so hard for so long over the last like three years and just taking them off at the moment. And I know it's not luck. I know it's hard work, but I do feel lucky. I feel lucky that this is my life and that I get to share it with someone that I love doing what I love. And it's really bloody hard. <laughs> but it's definitely worth it. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more skincare. I'm gonna brush my teeth 
and then try and wind down because I'm a bit I don't normally get I'm not nervous I'm actually quite excited like I love going to these places and just getting to see behind the scenes of like stuff that you normally watch on tv but yeah just wanted to capture capture this capture the reality of me just sat in my pajamas being like oh gonna be on telly tomorrow I'm excited for how many of you will see it on socials or see it on tv and then be like oh she vlogged it we got to come behind the scenes so I'm gonna try and wind down a little bit I might do some breath work or like put on a breath work youtube video just calm myself down a bit I just need to like get my energy levels down enough to go to sleep because yeah I'm just very excited tomorrow after this morning we are heading off to a client called Candid. Candid are a self-portrait a headshot studio so if you get nervous in front of other people you get nervous in front of a photographer you can actually go into the studio. I don't even need to explain it I'll explain it to you tomorrow but they're a client and I'm going to do some very like high level uh, consulting strategy work with them so we'll bring you behind the scenes and then they're also letting me take some headshots which is accidental perfect timing because I was going there tomorrow anyway and that was the video that I was going to be recording but I'm now getting my hair and makeup done at this morning and then going straight to get my headshots done. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. To get my headshots done, having a meeting, will bring you with me and then I'm heading across London to stay overnight in a hotel because I've got an AAT board meeting the next day. So we'll bring you behind the scenes there as well. It's gonna be a crazy few days. I am so, so excited to bring you with me. Tamsin is coming tomorrow who does all things digital marketing. So she has the best job ever. She just gets to run around. Uh, and experience this stuff too with none of the stress of actually appearing on live tv <laughs> so yeah Tamsin will be with us tomorrow as well so I will see you very early tomorrow morning good morning I'm whispering a little bit because James is still in bed you wouldn't believe this but I had a bit of a lie-in I'd set my alarm for five not getting picked up by the car until quarter past seven and I was gonna like I'm pointing now because I'm on my laptop, but I was going to come and sit on my laptop and get some emails done and I thought, no, this is a vision board day. Your emails can wait. I have just seen one email that I need to deal with urgently, which is a release form that I need to sign before I can go on the show. So I'm literally just doing that now. I've made myself a lovely cup of coffee. So I'm just going to sit, have a coffee, go through the release form, go through a couple of the emails that I have from this morning, the researching team before tomorrow, before today. Got them last night. So just going to go through a couple of bits and bobs and then ready to go. Just need to brush my teeth after the coffee and yeah, we're good to go. So very, very, very excited. I might do a little deep focus time lapse while I spend a couple of minutes doing some emails and then we can go home. Before I get stuck in, because I always get 17 questions a day about WTF is this. This is the shreddy green juice because as you know, if Grace Beverly makes it, I will buy it. But also, this is hilarious because I'm wearing Tala. But also, if Grace Beverly makes it, you know it's going to be an elite product. I have been drinking green juice for like seven or eight years and have never been able to like drink it without being like, it tastes like squash. Not a grimace on this face. So I have a green juice every morning. I then take three supplements. So I've got just an omega-3. I've got a just general women's health vitamin. And then I take ginkgo, which uh, increases the blood flow to your brain. So we're all about that. Just a, such a cute little vitamin ginkgo. So I take these three every morning. Let's go. you talk I'm like you've just made tax sound really chill yeah I don't know how you did it whilst but you giving did. Barbie at the same time yeah, I love so it much. we love you <laughs> okay so I've literally come straight from this morning studios literally still holding this in my hand that was 10 out of 10 we'll do a full debrief later but I'm now at our client which is candid studios 
Self Portrait Studio. So I'm here to take some headshots, have a lovely time, just experience their product before we do like a deep dive consulting session. And so I am all lit up. It is self portrait shooting. And so I'll show you the setup. Beautiful background behind me. And then we have got, you can see me in the mirror. We've got some lighting, got camera. I can see all of the pictures that are coming through so I can delete any that I don't want. We've got a fancy dress box going on over here. So I'm gonna settle into it and I'll bring you guys behind the scenes. But Candid are a new client of ours and I'm coming today to do some consulting work. So just a real deep dive strategy session on their plans for the future. I feel very shiny because I'm obviously in full makeup from the telly book. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay, so come behind the scenes. Let's experience the client's product before we do a deep dive into their business. Let's go. Yeah, um, so this is the bit that we're gonna need help on. So I worked out our eight month revenue, which was May 19th, literally the day we opened, standing start to January the 19th. So studio made this, events made this. Is that like market research? What the photographer would charge? Like, because you offer so much more. Yeah, yeah. You offer a lot more than a photo. Yeah, for like sure. Pricing matrix could help you to lead into okay, the evidence then. around like how that's broken down. Headshot session is done. I've just had a really, really deep dive, like two and a half hour consultancy session, and we go to Wagamama. So I've got changed. I felt very, very overdressed. So I've got changed out of my suit, back into my nice little cash outfit, and we're going to Wagamama's. And so I'm going to get some lunch, have, again, just really continue the conversation, like just getting to work with people you like. 10 out of 10, self employed life. So yeah, I'm gonna go for some food and then need to travel like an hour across London to check into my hotel and do some work for this afternoon before um, some more excitement tonight. So I'll catch up with you very soon. Oh, it is a glamorous life. I've just checked into my hotel. It was an hour long trip across London. And so I don't, I really hate getting taxis. I normally always get public transport, but it was an hour across London and I just really, really needed to get some urgent stuff done. So I took an Uber uh, across London and yeah, just checked into my hotel, did some Instagram stories to update people about what a crazy day I've had or I'm having. And now I'm just doing some deep focus work. I've got a lot, a lot of work to get through because whilst this stuff is fun and glamorous, the stuff behind the scenes you know just doesn't go away and so i'm just connecting to some wi-fi in the hotel and then i'm gonna get my head down for a while we normally have like a big group meal the night before a board meeting but one of my three words for 2024 is well-being and just feeling really comfortable saying no <laughs> to things and so it's gonna be it's gonna be a no today and i'm gonna stay in my room my order some room service i um, just gonna get cozy, take this makeup off that I've been wearing for like 12 hours and just cozy up. So I'm gonna get some deep focus work done and I'll catch you guys in a minute. Went downstairs for some food and it is the 31st of January. So I'm currently at my laptop in my pajamas on FaceTime to James, just checking in on some last minute tax returns. Worth saying, we have like very, very strong boundaries with our clients to avoid any stress to the team. And so this client has basically me messaged me and said, please tell me to bugger off. But I was just wondering for some help. And so currently just trying to help them. So we'll catch up with you in a sec. Okay, my glamorous, glamorous life. I've just finished up a FaceTime with James. I'm now on FaceTime to my sister. It has taken me approximately 17 hours to take all of the makeup off that was on my face. So 17 hours later, I'm now trying to put as much moisturiser on my face as I possibly can because that makeup, it was doing something to my skin. And I've just brushed my teeth. I'm now having a little FaceTime with my sister. My sister is actually a bit of a, an accountant she. I was gonna say super fan, but that would be biased because she is my sister. So I guess she is a super fan anyway. But here she is. Hello! 
and show everyone what you're wearing. Wait, I'm wrecking the birch. What does it say? Catch fraud, not feelings. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, you can come on a little time lapse while I brush my teeth and I'm flossing, so you're in for a treat. I can't do it. Oh, excuse my goofy little ears. Yeah, I don't know what it is about. It's such heavy makeup. They obviously have to put on you for telly work. Have to. Have to put it on me uh, for TV work. And then they just set it so much. And then obviously I wore it like just for the rest of the day because I was busy. Just not the one. Not the one. But I had anticipated this. And so I brought my like heavy duty moisturizer so I can just cake myself in it and then go to bed. But it is way past my normal bedtime. It's actually half ten. It's half ten. Uh, it's half ten, which means I've officially been going for 17 and a half hours. What today? Because she was up early. Right. Let's get cosy. Oh boy. Just got into bed and one of my mantras is one day at a time. So I just wanted to give you a little pep talk to remind you that it's always one day at a time. And some days, those days will look like mine did today. Where you just you're doing vision board stuff. How have I just gone from national television to dream client that are just great people that I've loved and feel like friends. I love their business and I'm doing really high level consulting work to help them to make huge great change within their business. And then gone straight from that to a board meeting that is literally just doing next level stuff and like being a role model for the entire industry that I didn't have and doing it in my own little Barbie way and that's what one day can look like and the next could be at my desk the whole time or it could be dog walks or it could be therapy or it could be going to the gym and it could be dealing with issues dealing with problems dealing with people it's just one day at a time so please don't watch a video like this and think that this is my whole life because it's not and for every day underground you're just building roots to come back up above ground and I think for every 100 below ground days you have one above ground day that looks shiny like today probably looks shiny to you but just as always with all of my content just trying to bring lots of context into the content that it's not always like this and the days that it is I just go to bed with the same level of contentness that I do on all of the other days because I know that I need those days to have these days. <sighs> Soppy, weird, rambly TED talk over from someone who is just drowning in moisturiser. <laughs> and you've just watched her floss her teeth, so you're officially my best friend. Thank you for sharing a pretty monumental day with me. I feel like I say it with every milestone, but this is probably the biggest milestone in my career today. And to vlog it and to have you there just is always super 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 special to me so thank you so much for joining me today this was a pretty wild day in the life of an accountant which didn't involve too much accounting but I feel like you get the gist so as always if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to be notified every single time I release a juicy video like this one and I hope to see you again very soon